Hi, this is AJ. Welcome to the Point of View Stories for Tribes, our final Point of View Stories. And you know what to do. You got to move that body, especially with the mini stories and the Point of View Stories. You will get this grammar, and that's what the Point of View Stories teach. They teach grammar. You will get it into your body if you move with the stories. If you really move your body and smile and all these crazy things I tell you to do, it will help you learn the grammar faster, better, and more deeply. You have to trust me about that, so please do it. Do it whenever you review the other lessons. Do it with this lesson. Do it with any lesson, anytime you're listening to English. Let's begin. Since five years ago, Tony has hated his life. Five years ago, Tony got a new office job. Since then, he has hated his life. Since then, he has worked in an office every day. Has he worked on Saturdays and Sundays? Oh, yeah, he's worked on Saturdays, and he has worked on Sundays. He has worked every day since five years ago, since he got his new office job. And since then, how has he felt about his life and his job? Well, he has hated his life. He has hated his job. Since that time, he has hated everything. He has been miserable. He has been unhappy. Since when has Tony been unhappy? Since five years ago. What happened five years ago? He got a new job. He got a new job and since then... He has been very, very unhappy. Has he been unhappy from then until recently? That's right. He has been unhappy since then until recently. During the whole time, he has been unhappy. During that whole time, he has hated his life. He has hated his job. In fact... For all of his life, he has yearned to make a difference. Since he was a small child, Tony has yearned to make a difference. Since when has he yearned to make a difference? Well, since he was a child beginning when he was a child, continuing all his life. Until now, he has yearned to make a difference. What has he yearned to do? He has yearned to make a difference. And who has yearned to make a difference? Tony, of course. Tony has yearned to make a difference. But unfortunately... Five years ago, he got a terrible job. And since five years ago, he has hated his life. Since five years ago, he has worked in an office every day, and he has hated his job. Finally, one day, he quit his job, and he went to Africa. He wanted to help tribes in Africa. In fact, he wanted to help tribes in Rwanda. So, of course, obviously, naturally, he gave golf clubs and golf balls to poor tribes in Africa, in Rwanda. But no one wanted the golf clubs. No one in the poor tribes wanted the golf balls. In fact, they got very, very angry. They said, go away! We don't want these golf clubs. We hate golf. Poor Tony. Tony was sad. Well, 
He still wanted to make a difference. So next, he went to New York City. He decided to help homeless people. But he tried to get leverage on the homeless people. He tried to get power over them. He tried to get leverage on the homeless people by saying, I'll give you food if, only if, you go to school. Well, the homeless people also got angry. They said, go away, you asshole. Ah, <sighs> poor Tony. He was sad again. But then one day he finally realized, ah, he realized that he must ground his efforts to help in love. He realized, ah, I must ground my efforts in love. I must begin with love. And so he helped orphans. He helped connect orphans with new parents. And he grounded his efforts in love. He began with the feeling of love. And he always felt the feeling of love while helping them. Because of this, Tony, the children, and the parents were all very, very happy. All right. Into the future. I have this idea. I have this idea for a story, and it will happen in the future. There will be a guy. His name will be Tony. A big, tall guy named Tony. But unfortunately, Tony's going to hate his life. He'll hate it. Why? Well, because um, uh, he's going to work in an office every day. I mean, he will work Every day. He'll work on Saturdays. He'll work on Sundays. He'll always work every day. And he'll hate it. He'll hate his job. He'll hate his life. And Tony will yearn to make a difference. In fact, uh, he'll have always wanted to make a difference. It's something that will have always been something he wanted since he was a child he'll have wanted to do this so he'll yearn to make a difference but he'll hate his life well one day he will finally quit his job and he'll go to Africa and of course he'll decide to give golf clubs and golf balls to poor tribes in Rwanda, to people in poor tribes in Rwanda. He'll give the golf clubs and the golf balls to the poor tribes people in Rwanda. But they're not going to be happy. They're going to be angry with Tony. They'll yell, go away! We hate golf! And Tony will be very, very sad. He'll be super sad. Poor Tony. But he'll still want to make a difference. <sighs> so, next he'll go to New York City. He'll decide to help homeless people. But there's a problem. Because he's going to try to get leverage on them. He'll say to them, I'll give you food, but only if you go to school. And the homeless people will be angry with him, too. They're going to get really angry. They'll say, go away, you asshole. And Tony will be really, really sad. He'll be so sad because he just wants to help. Well, finally, he'll realize that he must ground his efforts in love. He'll realize, ah, I must ground my efforts in love. And so next, he'll help connect orphans with new parents. And he'll feel love when he does this. He'll always feel love. He'll begin with love and he'll continue to feel love while he helps the orphans and the new parents. And because of this, Tony and the children 
and the parents are all going to be very, very happy. And that is the end of our point of view stories for tribes. It's the end of our lessons. Yeah. So next we have a few commentaries. You can listen to those. It's just me talking and you'll have some text. No lessons, just some talking about some topics. But basically you are finished with the lessons. Yeah. Remember, listen to these lessons every day for at least one week, seven days. More is fine. Remember to move your body and smile and jump and shout while you do it. Remember to always enjoy your English learning. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. These lessons are sold only on our website, EffortlessEnglishClub.com. If you bought these lessons somewhere else, you have an illegal copy. Please notify us and we will take immediate legal action against the seller. Thank you.